Oh, man. Oh, he took his Jeep to Pipestone. Awesome. No way, dude. That's totally awesome. Oh, I wonder what he does with it and where he goes. Oh, this is going to be so cool. How's it going, everybody? Let me ask you something. Do you like dirt bikes? Do you like side-by-sides? Obviously, you like Jeeps, right? Well, today's video, we're going to Pipestone. Let's go check it out. 4x4, four four, dirt bike trails, all that good stuff. We're going to go check out a couple of things and then maybe hit some stuff of our own, all right? So, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I just got off the freeway at the Pipestone exit. You can see that sign right there says Delmo Lake to the right. There's something important you need to know when you're coming to Pipestone. If you go up this road straight in front of me and veer to the left, you go everywhere in Pipestone. If you veer to the right, you go to the lower parking lot at the lower trails. But if you turn all the way right here to where this Ring and Rock sign is, and you take this halfway up the Ring and Rocks, it'll take you to the hill climbs, and I'll show you that here in a sec. Well, as you can see, it's a washboard, bumpy road, and I try not to go fast because it's muddy, and there are people that actually live out here on the edges in some of the areas out here, especially on the eastern portions and along the south and the northeastern portions of this place. But I figured I'd queue you up and let you know there is a lot of trail options in this place, but there's also a lot of rules. If you could download a map, I would get a map. I have a map with me. It's my paper map. But I happen to know this place really, really well. And as you can see by how much I'm shaking around, it's pretty bumpy and I'm actually on the road that doesn't look that bad. That's one thing that people kind of, you know, they assume, but they don't understand. Most of the roads out here are dirt and rocks. <laughs> a lot of rocks, okay? Another important thing about being out here is there's a lot of cows, okay? This is also shared grazing land for cattle, so be careful, all right? So I'll see you in a bit when I get to the hill climbs. I just figured I'd talk to you for a second. Kind of, you know, fill you in on a little bit of information, a little bit here and there throughout the video, all right? So, next stop, hill climbs. See how deep it is over here. So this is basically the entrance. Doesn't seem like it's that bad over here. Bring your dirt bikes, your four wheelers, your side by side, some of your four by four trucks and stuff over here, but don't get too bad with it with the trucks. You can also do mountain bikes over here. I got a lot of fun stuff in here. Okay, well, you have to be really careful around here because this is, in fact, a berm course down here on my right that you don't want to fall into with any type of four-wheeled vehicle at all. Because on my side, it has a tendency to kind of cliff a little bit. So this is just one of the areas. It gets a little fun getting into this place. As you can see, I'll video clip that on the way out for you guys. That way you get to see everything. But yeah, here it is. Here's the hill climb sections. You can come in here and have some fun. 
there's that really big shot right here on the left hand side coming up in front of me that I've gone up on a dirt bike it's pretty awesome all right so I figured I'd just show you guys that real quick I'll show you the next location here in a sec so I hope you're enjoying the footage and I'll see you in a minute So I know it probably didn't look like much, right? Well, let me take you down to ground level and get out of the way of your view. I'll walk this with you. You can kind of see what I was dealing with here. I'll turn to the side. This is just a gully. And when you come to this side right here, where my tires are sliding, you just go straight uphill, all right? And then down here, easily three feet. If you come into the sideways, wrong vehicle could tip you, all right? Let's check out the next location. I hope you like this stuff. At least so far. It's gonna get better. Well, that was one spot, and believe it or not, it gets a little hairy in there because that's actually a three foot drop, and it goes like this. So, you know, I mean, you don't wanna punch it, you don't wanna do anything nuts. I'm the only one here right now in my Jeep, so I don't wanna flip it, all right? I just figured I'd show you some cool stuff as much as I can, and just let you know some of the things about here you're not supposed to speed you're supposed to you know you drive like a you're in a highway you know when you're out here you have to be aware there's a lot of people out here a lot of the times in the summertime in the winter time there can be a lot of people up here depending on the time of the year and then on top of that like I was saying earlier this is a lot of shared land for cows and stuff like that for straight just cattle for ranching and you have to take all that stuff into consideration. If you hit a cow, that's a very expensive price you'll have to pay for that cow, okay? You don't wanna do that. But I'm gonna go up a little bit farther into another area. This was the area that's easily accessed from the lower when you're trying to go to Ring and Rocks. Now we're gonna go up to a place called Four Corners. And once we get up there, I'll queue back up and I'll give you a little bit more information about the place. We're gonna take a side road and basically go check out to see if I might be able to find something of interest on another, you know, aspect of things in my life. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. I hope you're enjoying this, really. I really do. I mean, this is some fun stuff. Get in your Jeep, go drive around middle of nowhere on roads that you're allowed to drive on and just, you know, be respectful and cautious and aware and all kinds of other stuff like that and just have a blast all right so i'll see you in a minute well i didn't get to show you this when i got off the freeway but there's the exit off of interstate 90 pipestone 241 you have to go back the same road because it's too snowy to go the other way so yeah a little bit more time lapse more fun stuff i'll see you guys in a second well, just after you come up that hill and you hit the cattle grate, there'll be a trail on your right, or on, or on your left, sorry, and then a play area on your right. If you've got kids, this play area is ideal. It's a little itty bitty area down in here. I'll take you into the parking of it. It's just down to my right. 
but you know the parking can get kind of gnarly too in some areas not so much right here as you can see this is one of the information kiosks that they have out here And it looks like it actually has some maps in it. So there's one of your info kiosks right there. This is the middle parking lot, just above the railroad tracks. So I figured I'd show you that real quick. We're gonna see if we can climb something. Well, the sun came out and it got a little hot. I'm sweating to, to, to take my hat off, but uh, yeah, I figured we'll go on to the next spot. I got some stuff to check out, and when I get there, I'll show you some more cool stuff. But I hope you like that. Um, and it's a lot worse in the summertime because it's all rock. So anyway, I'm gonna head up this road a little bit more and then get to where our next spot is up to the Four Corners parking lot, and I'll show you that, all right? I'll see you in a sec. Well, I'm here in Four Corners, so let's jump out and I'll show you basically what it is. And you know, all it is really is just another parking area. The other one has a little kiddie playground in it and stuff. Not like actual like playground equipment, but it's quarantined off from the main areas and it's a big circle so your kids can go out there and play and stuff like that on their motorcycles and ATVs and stay in one confined area. This one is more out in the open, okay? Now, Here's the map, the info station. As you can see, there's an unloading ramp right here in the background. And then they have their pet toilets in case you need them, stuff like that. And it looks like they have an updated map for 2020. And since they have one of those, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one. That way, I know. Now, every trail out here usually has a marker stake on it. I'll walk you over to one right now, because I might as well check the marker and not waste my time with the map since the marker's right here. And there's another thing they don't tell you about Montana, by the way. Everybody knows it's always really, really windy, right? Okay, well, sunglasses. As you can see, I am dying right now because I didn't bring my sunglasses because I thought it was gonna stay cloudy all day. So it looks like I have about a 45 minute window to be blinded. But anyway, I'll try to show this to you because the sun is right there. But literally, whoa, if I don't fall, this kind of trail marker right here will let you know what you're allowed to take on that trail. So I'm going to hit this trail. I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? So I just jumped on that trail real quick, and as you can see, it's kind of like a Baja road. There's a lot of up and down, big whoops. You have to be very careful driving through here because you see these trees coming up. These are junipers and the trail bobs and weaves to the sides of them and sometimes you just can't see anybody coming up so you don't ever really want to be going fast down something like this and smack into somebody going the opposite direction end up going to the hospital when you're coming out here just for a weekend getaway to go have a blast with the family or friends this one in particular gets people a lot right there and then there's another one coming right up around the corner real quick. Now, I'm doing 10 miles an hour on this, and that is it. Just to let you know. But this corner right here, as you can see, there is nothing. It's totally blind. You can come around here, not see anybody. 
and considering there's a massive whoop right here they could either be jumping in or you could be jumping out and boom you're in an accident so this is the type of terrain that they have in here when you go riding and driving in like i said this one's jeep allowed that's the only reason i'm out here on the jeep i can go jeep in both directions left or right and today i'm going to go right because there's fresh tracks to the right So, and this is where I got to go anyway to check on some stuff. Yeah, it's a little drifted in on the trail. These corners are a lot of fun. Gonna try not to slide too much. Kind of going Baja style. I didn't put it in four wheel drive, but you can see how many bumps and divots and stuff there are through here. It literally is like Baja. You got your big ones right here. They, honestly will jump your vehicle. Well, that was one way that you can go with a four wheel drive. They are limited. Most of it's up in the forest and stuff like that. But this is some of the stuff in Pipestone. I got down where a spot where I was hoping I can cross, but they changed the map. I just looked it up and it is different. So I'm not gonna push it and go over that because it is pretty gnarly down there and there's an insane bridge down there that I don't want to have any issues with but the map I was running with was 2016 okay this is funny because this is the newest map that they've updated since the 2016 map and it just so happens to be the 2020 map so I checked into this and it turns out I can't go this way anymore but that's okay because I'll just go show you some other features all right so I'll see you in a sec Might as well tag along in real time, right? This is nice and open. I said it can get extremely bumpy if you want a Baja you can but know where you can do it because if I'd have been flying through here I probably would have smacked into those trees and then right up here really hard dip there's a corner coming up right here so yeah you want to be careful on a play like this know where you can open it up and know where you can you know what I mean if you can't see a hundred yards in front of you you probably shouldn't open it up All this fresh blown in snow, my tires are throwing it around everywhere. It's a nice little fun turn. The little whoop de doos in it make it interesting, and then you gotta be careful because you can't actually pitch this thing. See what I mean? to have some fun right so I'll see you at the next spot all right so I'm officially in the National Forest now this is one of the campground like off-grid campground entrances right here so you don't really want to tear it up it can get kind of sketchy as it is if it's muddy or snowy or icy or anything but you know be nice to it it's got some gnarly hills but it's a nice little place to dip off and get away from everybody. I personally like it. But it can get deep, it can get sketchy. So know what time of year you're gonna come in here. I'll see you at the next spot. Well, nothing like breaking fresh trail, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sinking a couple of inches. I'm debating on whether I wanna go up a little bit farther or not because if I slip, then I'm in trouble. So here, I'll see if I can show it to you real quick. It probably won't let me show it to you, but you saw it at the end of the time lapse. It goes off into the woods right there. I'm kind of iffy about this one. And yeah, I don't feel like putting my tire chains on right now. So let's go do some stuff where I can actually get out and show you some exterior footage of the Jeep. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit.
see what it's like. Let's go check it out real quick. Wow, super, super bumpy. There we go. Fix the camera a little bit downward and here we go. All right. And it's the same thing, it's kind of whoops. Until you come up around this corner and I think what I'll do is I'll just get out and set up the camera so you can see this corner that I'm gonna come up around. Might be easier just to do it that way. Well, I didn't show it to you earlier in the video, but I hope you enjoyed the rest of that. This is the lower lot, so I figured I'd pop out real quick and show you. You can see on the drive down that pretty much there isn't that much snow down here. Big difference, and you don't even really go that high up, at least you'd think anyway. But anyway, I'll open the door for you and I'll show you this place. It's a little windy outside, so I gotta try not to lose my door. But there's a small trailhead right there now. Keep in mind this trailhead is not off-road friendly for 4x4 Jeeps, okay? But it goes right up the hill right over there. You have your unloading docks right there. And then if you have to go to the bathroom, there's two of them, okay? That's the cool part about this one. Now keep in mind, I'm going to get back in the vehicle because like I said, it is really windy. Keep in mind that when you're coming down here, this lower lot is in fact a active truck area sorry about that eek anyway this lower lot does have a lot of gravel trucks and stuff going through it because there is a gravel mine right next to it you actually have to ride up and over to get over to trail two so if you don't decide you want to hit trail two when you come in to go up to ring and rock then you would come down here this is the most popular one by the way or you go up on the other area. So if you go over to Ring and Rock, just to let you know, I didn't go down it because it's got a lot of snow up there and I don't feel like going because it's a really, really sketchy situation in some of the areas. But there is one trail that you could four by four out of in a Jeep over by Ring and Rock and it's really, really cool, all right? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you want to see more Jeep stuff, all right? So I'm out of here, I'm gonna head home, and you guys know what to do right by now, right? So you let me know, you hit him, and I'll find out, all right? Take care. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, that's how you do it. Cheers to that, man. <laughs> Whoa, man. I think that would make my neck hurt, but it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs>